Hey, what's going on everybody? This is In A Nutshell, and today we're gonna to be migrating a unified controller using the backup and restore method. This is not the method that I typically use, but if you wanna move an entire controller and all the sites that are already configured, this is the way to do it. So let's go ahead, log into the controller that we wanna move. Go to the settings tab on the bottom left, go to system and backups. From here, you're gonna click the download button and select how much data you wanna move with it. Usually you just do settings only unless you want your historical data. Go ahead and click download. Once your backup has downloaded, let's go ahead and go to the advanced tab of the controller that we are wanting to migrate and let's check the inform host box. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna change the set inform address on all of our devices to point to the controller that we're gonna to move to. And it's going to warn you because if you mess this up, then your devices are gonna to point to the wrong host and you might have to manually go in and change this address. So we're going to go ahead and click confirm, put in the IP of our new controller and apply changes. At this point, going to our devices page, we'll show our devices offline. So now let's log in to our new controller, go to the settings page, head over to system and backups. This time we're going to click restore. We're going to double click on that backup file that we just took. It's going to say a restart will be required and we're going to go ahead and go along with it. Once it's complete, log back in with your old username and password, go to your devices tab and make sure everything is showing up as normal. Your devices will go through the getting ready and provisioning stage again as they migrated to a new controller, but at this point, you have now migrated your controller using the backup and restore method.